Hi, this is a follow-up video. I was given this with things, uh, really fancy blood pressure cuff. Uh, I had quite a bit of trouble setting it up, but if you, the trick is it, it uses Bluetooth to connect to your device. Okay, so, and you only need the device to set it up at the beginning, then you can just read off of it if you want to, or it will store them in the device. But the trick to getting it to work, I found was, uh, which was in the, the manual somewhere, was to delete all your other Bluetooth devices and install this first. Then you can go back and install the, this, the uh, blood pressure cuff. But I was getting horrendous readings with this. I was sometimes getting uh, readings that were 30 over on the top number and 20 over on the bottom number. So these looked, made me look like really bad. And the doctor was even like, I, I shared the readings and they were like, hmm, like now you can't have numbers that high. So anyway, we go in to the doctors with us. You know, I do my reading, they do their readings. And sure enough, 30 points high on the top number, 20 points high on the lower number. They tell me, go to Walgreens. Get their things. They're kind of certified that they work. So I've, here's the box. Auto risk blood pressure monitor. Now they said, oh, it will only cost 20 bucks. Well, this didn't cost 20 bucks. This is more like, I think it was 39. But uh, they had different models that did a lot more things. So I just wanted to go with the basic, especially after having all the trouble with the other one. Like, I don't need to install it and everything. So this unit here, is on a little wrist strap and uh, you can set up the date and time in it. I guess you don't have to do that, but it remembers uh, 60 readings. So it's really to your advantage to do that. It has this little color code, which kind of tells you what zone you're in as far as what your blood pressure is. And what do you know? This matches what the doctor said my blood pressure was. I get fairly normal blood pressure readings with this. You know, I haven't gotten a few high ones, but, you know, sometimes uh, that's to be expected. They told me in the doctor's office, if you keep taking your blood pressure, you know, if you decide to take it wrong and take it again, take it again, it always goes higher. <laughs> because I guess you're probably worried about why it's coming out high, and that makes it higher. I have what they call uh, white coat syndrome which means that when you go into the doctor's office, your blood pressure tends to jump. And sometimes they'll be like, okay, we're gonna relax for five minutes, then we'll take your blood pressure again. And they do and it comes out fine. So anyway, I found that this unit, this uh, Walgreens unit, uh, blood pressure monitor auto wrist. Uh, let's see if I can actually see a model number clinically proven accurate it says it does a regular heartbeat detector gentle inflate technology excessive body motion alarm easy one touch operation uh, takes uh, two a triple a batteries I think they were included and I don't actually see the model number but like I say, they had numerous ones there. And basically, as you paid more, they had more features, you know, multiple users. Then eventually, you know, they connected with devices and all that stuff. It's got a little set of instructions on how to use it. You're supposed to sit with your back up with the uh, monitor at heart level. And uh, I think it tells you more that you, you have your palm up you keep this a certain distance away from your wrist bones and uh you know they tell you to how much longer after certain activities you should take it but so there we go uh i found that this unit from walgreens for like i say uh 40 bucks was vastly uh more accurate than this with things unit which is hundred dollars and harder to set up so there you go there's my follow-up on the blood pressure monitor and uh turns out i've got good blood pressure after all bye